Hello everyone and welcome to a JMPR miniature gaming video. Um, today we are just going to take a look at my starting Path to Glory um, roster and uh, then uh, it, shortly after, possibly even same day, we will get a, um, a battle, the first battle report up of mine, by the way it's Matt, uh, versus John's Gloom Spite. But my army is going to be Beasts of Chaos, an army I've wanted uh, since Fantasy. Um, never got around to doing uh, the Fantasy army of it. Um, so AOS 3, just before AOS 3 dropped, I thought, do you know what, uh, as a little project, I'm going to do a Beast of Chaos army. Didn't know I was going to play Path to Glory at the time, but I'm glad I am, because uh, I think losing, constantly losing match play games will probably get a bit dull, um, as uh, the Beasts aren't super high tier. So I'm going to run you through what I've got, what I've brought, what I've chosen, and just how to get started with the Path to Glory roster. Um, so with the Path to Glory, firstly you would choose your faction and what realm they're from. I have chosen Beasts of Chaos and they are going to be from Gur, just because Realm of Beasts and things. Um, choose your starting size um, and territories. So we are literally starting at the very basic which is the Vanguard um, which start one territory, 600 point limit, maximum of 6 units, and 5 glory points. Starting territory, this is a few territories you can choose, give you different bonuses, um, basically increases what you're allowed to take um, maximum. Um, nothing, I didn't need to take anything to start with. Um, if I was playing my Soul Blight, I would need to take the Arcane Waypoint because there was, there's two wizards basically in my 600 point uh, Soul Blight list. Uh, which we may see at some point. However, um, there's nothing I needed to take, so what I have taken is the Wildlands, which lets me take an extra monster. Um, don't need it yet, but hopefully um, gives you an idea of what's going to be added to the list going forward. Uh, we start with a Stronghold. Um, now this is just going to start as a basic Stronghold. Um, you can upgrade, which gives you access to more territories later on. So at the moment we've got one stronghold, one territory. Glory points, uh, you can spend glory points after games to increase your roster and uh, do other things. Um, if you played sort of Warhammer Cruise, uh, 40k Crusade or um, I think even Old Path of Glory has similar, something similar. Um, basically, um, you can spend it on things later on. Your order of battle. So, there are a few restrictions when you're um, choosing your order of battle to start with. So we're going for the vanguard size, which means with 600 point limit and maximum of 6 units. Um, there are also restrictions on the number of hero units you can take, which is a maximum of 3. Monsters, which is a maximum of 1, but 2 for me because I have the wildlands as my territory. Uh, one war machine, one wizard, one priest, one reinforced unit and one allied unit. Uh, I haven't got any reinforced units, I haven't got any allied units, I haven't got any priests. do have a wizard. Um, I do have two heroes, because one is the wizard and one is the general. Um, but that is that, and I've got one monster as well, as we will see. Um, now, you must choose a warlord as your first pick. So I have got my beast lord. He is Malgok Wildscar. Um, I'm going for the Gravespawn Allegiance for Beasts of Chaos, so he is going to have my Relic and my Command trait from the Gravespawn, which is Unraveling Aura, which gives him an Unbind 1, and the Relic is the Mutating Gnarl Blade, which gives him plus 2 damage, however on any hit rolls of a 1, he does take a Mortal Wound, so uh, we shall see. I did try a couple of practice games with a Doom Ball as my general, um, but I found him to be a quite expensive and didn't always perform so thought I would try something a bit different with my actual list and went for a few more numbers um, and just had a regular beast lord taken over. So next to him uh, we have my Bray Shaman. Uh, this is Tazak Darkbelly. Um, this is a 3D printed um, Malagor model basically. Um, he is going to have the spell Vicious Stranglethorns and his normal one Devolve. Um, and that's it. That's him. Uh, we've then got Tangles. Shield and... Yeah, just for shields. Uh, we have ten Bestigors. 
10 Ungor Raiders and my majestic flap flap turkey legs the cockatrice um, this comes in at 590 points uh, for my triumph I've taken inspired I'm hoping uh, that everyone else playing has decided to try and use the full 600 points so I always get my uh, triumph to use in game um, and this is just a battle regiment um, which is the one drop deployment um, so you can take endless spells you're allowed to take one endless spell um, and because it's narrative you can take war scroll battalions although I think uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna not do that um, so it's just gonna be the core battalions um, core enhancements discussed those already um, extra enhancements so you can earn enhancements during the game um, and you also get to pick a quest for your um, for your faction and basically there's lots of different quests um, they basically give you different rewards so it could be um, an extra artifact power an extra war scroll battalion um, endless spells uh, a new spell for your for wizards and things and basically what you can do is uh, these go into what you called your vault and you can swap them at the start of the game for other things um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to choose the endless spell quest here the hunt the endless spell um, it's quite easy to achieve. Um, it's basically end a battle with a friendly wizard within one inch of a terrain feature with the arcane scenery rule. Um, and then I can add the endless spell you picked to my um, order of battle. Um, I'll probably pick the, um, the wildfire taurus because uh, I feel like it's a nice way of getting that to my list. It still costs points so if you, you it just gets added to your army of battle um, so you, if you were choosing it's not freebie in a game or anything you still have to pay the points for it um, so I might not get to use it straight away but it'd be nice to have. Um, but that right there is my army. Um, I've got extra stuff to add and obviously um, they do get to summon with the herd zone potentially. Um, it's not always guaranteed that I'm going to get to use the Hearthstone with the um, narrative games just because uh, a few of them, uh, or in fact I think most of them, only allow the Defender to deploy their terrain piece. So ideally I think I want to be trying to be the Defender, um, but we'll see. Um, especially I know that I'm playing Gloomspite in the first game so I know they probably want their terrain piece as well. Um, so we'll see how it goes, and um, I hope you guys enjoy the series. We're going to try and get as many the games out as you know as quickly as we can. Um, a couple of the guys still haven't finished their factions, painting up their initial factions yet, but hopefully they will soon. Um, if you've seen the artwork for the uh, for the show, you'll know that I'm playing uh, Beastmen. John's playing Gloomspite. Rob is taking on the Caradron Overlords, and Pat will be leading his Stormcast into battle. So I uh, hope you enjoy the series guys, leave comments below what you want to see and um, look forward to producing some more battle reports for you.